Hi guys, my name's Andy from Mobile Must Have, and in today's video we're going to talk about updating your PepWaves firmware. Every once in a while, we always find that our devices need some sort of software update to solve, sometimes create new problems, mostly solve. Um, so if that's the case, and sometimes I have found that I'm running into an issue, um, updating the firmware seems to fix it. So if that is something you are trying to do today and you are stuck, we're here to help. And that's what we're gonna go through today. Show you on the PepWave where to get to your firmware and how to do the update. And honestly, it's pretty simple and pretty easy. All right, so let's jump to the computer and we'll continue from there. All right. Now we're on our computer. At this point, I've already logged in to my admin console and you can see I'm connected to a internet source. In my case, Cellular One on AT&T. Um, now to update the firmware, it's pretty simple. What we're gonna do is we're gonna click on system up at the top and we're gonna go over to firmware, right over here. Now, in my case, I am on 8.0.0, and I know 8.0.1 was just released. I know this because <laughs> they actually sent me an email. When you have purchased a modem or router through mobile must-haves and you have the warranty that comes with it, we register that device to you and your email. So basically PepWave and PepLink is the main company. We'll know who you are and what device you have, um, basically so they can just send you emails about that particular thing. Um, so in this email you can see my firmware 8.0. Point one is ready to go. I can hit download, but that's the hard way of doing it. It's more of just a notification. Uh, the best way to do it is, I think, is go to System tab, click on Firmware again, and then I'm going to hit Check for Firmware. Now, I do need to be connected to the Internet, obviously, for this to work, because it's going to go out and it's going to download the latest um, and then install it for me. And actually, look, so we're on, we're going to get 08.0.2 if we do the upgrade, so that's perfect. If you want to read the release notes, that's fine, you can do that. In our case, we're just going to hit Go. And there we go. So um, I just kind of let this sit and do its thing. Make sure you don't unplug it. Make sure it has power the whole time. Um, if you don't or you lose power, you have a good chance of kind of destroying the device. So uh, so make sure you leave it connected to power. And, and we'll come back when this is done. Ah, and we're done. All right, so my unit has completely rebooted uh, and taken me back to my admin screen. So I'm going to use my default admin admin password and we'll log in. Oh, and now it wants me to change this. This must be new. Okay, I'm never gonna remember this now. Thanks, PepWave. Well, welcome to 8.0.2, everybody. You have to change your passwords. So that's fun. Make sure you write this down. <laughs> or pick one that you can remember. Um, good. Okay. So uh, now we are back in. We can see the CPU load is going to be a little high. It's going to kind of be rebooting, checking everything. If you want to go back over to system and you want to go over to firmware, uh, you will see that you are running the latest 8.0.2. Now, one thing I want to note is if you find you're having problems with the new software, whatever version it is, there is a way to revert to the last one you were running. If you go over to Reboot, same on System, you have a choice of rebooting to a particular firmware. So since my latest or my past firmware was 8.0.0, if I pick Firmware 1 and I hit Reboot, it will reboot using that original firmware. This is a really great feature that if for some reason the download didn't happen correctly or something happened in that process where the new firmware didn't download correctly or didn't install correctly, you can redo it. Um, so if you were having an issue, you could go back to the old firmware, you could run everything just as it was, test, do what you need to, uh, re-upload, download, all of that for your new firmware. If you're not having any issues, I definitely recommend using the latest and greatest. Uh, they always have the best security features and updated security um, and, and some features you might be using already. So, all right, there you go. That is how you update firmware on your PepWave.